office. It is 2.25 in the morning on Monday, September 17th. This weekend was super slow for progress, especially yesterday and especially for the painter. Um, that is what I am working on now. I have not made it super far, but I also haven't been 100% dedicating my time to it just yet. Um, I have started the morning by sketching out a little thing to put on my Ko-Fi as a thank you. Um, I normally don't do chibi drawings, but I like this one in specific. It's a reference to uh, Hearts and Roses because Dominic is a lone wolf and Ashton really, really likes rabbits. So that is what that one in specific is in reference to. But now that I am done with that, um, I'm going to upload it to the gallery on Ko-Fi and then get to writing the painter. Um, I am expecting progress to continue to be slow. I still haven't finished taking all of the notes for it as a layout for everything that happens step by step. So a lot of times when I skip writing in it for a few days, I have to scroll back through and see if this has happened or if this has happened or if it's something that I dreamt about or something I imagined or if it's a conversation that I thought they had but they haven't yet or even a conversation that they did have but I deleted it. So it's a lot of uh, scrolling and checking and making sure everything is okay and then I'm not repeating a whole bunch of stuff. Um, at some point in the future I will finish taking my notes on it. I just haven't quite gotten to that yet. But I will eventually. <laughs> um, that'll actually probably be easier now with the way that I'm sitting here now. Um, normally I sit on the couch, which is what my iPad is sitting on right now. Um, but recently I have been sitting at the edge of the couch, so like this is the end of my little lounge thing, and I'm sitting in a bungee chair. And since I've done that, my back has not hurt as bad as it used to, um, and it's been quite comfortable compared to the way that I normally sit. So uh, notes would actually be a hundred times easier to take this way, so maybe I will get around to that. Uh, within the next few days but I think I'm probably going to spend the rest of the morning working on the painter and then I might skip uh, some of the other books and move straight to Rasmussen or Hearts and Roses depending on how the day goes because again the game plan is to finish Rasmussen before the end of this month and the goal is to finish Hearts and Roses before November uh, if everything goes as planned the goal is also to finish painter this month write another Bo Austin book next month and then start Bo Austin Taylor book sorry and then start book seven in November for NaNoWriMo. Um, that is the goal. I do not know if those things will happen but those are probably the three books that I will be alternating between for right now uh, with the addition of editing Ashes in the Light every now and then which will most likely wait until after I wake up. Not 100% sure, but those are the plans that I have right now. So um, I'm going to do what I can to work through the painter. If things continue to be very, very slow, I would just move on to Hearts and Roses or Rasmussen. And if things are slow there, I will, cont I will continue to move on to a new book. Um, I do not want to be hung up on one book all morning again. So uh, this time I will just force myself to move on if things are going way too slow. But either way, uh, I will update you guys at some point if I accomplish something. <laughs> Alrighty, I wrote a little bit in Letters from a Madman. I actually finished a chapter there. Um, and then I wrote a little bit in Tito Vito just to get them in their place on the list because I do like to keep them in order whenever I can. So now I'm going to move on to Rasmussen, see if I can make any progress there, uh, and see what happens. <laughs> Alrighty, it is 5.42 in the morning, and I just finished a chapter in Rasmussen. Um, it took a while to get going on this book, and I didn't make nearly as much progress as I wanted, but I still made more progress than I was expecting, so that's something. Um, I think the next chapter is probably going to end up being from his wife's point of view, but I'm not 100% sure. Totally depends. But uh, at this point, staring at the screen is killing my eyes, so I'm actually going to call it a night here. I have a little bit of coffee left, so I'm going to finish that first, and then I'm going to brush my teeth and turn on the coffee pot for my mom and go to bed. 
but when I wake up, I think I'll be starting with Hearts and Roses. I'll try to make some progress there, and then I'll run through these guys real quick, edit a couple chapters in Ashes and Light, run through these quick, and come back around to Painter. So basically, um, I'm planning on only working on those three books and editing Ashes in the Light for a while, but I will be consistently adding a few words to the others here and there so that they don't ever get left in the dust. So that is the plan. Um, I don't know if I'll stick to it. I have a bad habit of that. Um, I get a wild hair and just go with whatever, but that is the plan and hopefully it goes as planned. But um, I will see you guys sometime after I wait up and after I make progress in Hearts and Roses. Apologies in advance for the fan. It is very, very hot in here. Um, it is 4 or 6 p.m. I have not had internet since about 2 o'clock or so, which is around the time that I woke up. Um, and I've been trying to get said internet ever since. Um, I had it very, very briefly for all of about 6 seconds. Um, which was long enough for me to open the internet on the computer, and that was it. It is still attempting to load all of my tabs, despite the fact that I don't have internet. Um, I'm going to still keep attempting to get the internet back. Um, I need it in case one of my documents hasn't been updated on Google Docs, because since I write on Google Docs across three, sometimes four, devices, it's always a possibility that it hasn't been updated on whichever device I'm writing on. Um, when I went to bed, I actually scrolled through Hearts and Roses on my phone, and I'm pretty sure that I made just a few changes. Very few, very minute changes, but I still changed stuff, and it wouldn't be updated on the computer or my tablet. So I do have to wait until I have internet to write on either one of those devices. But uh, when I do have internet, I'm going to work on Hearts and Roses and go from there. Um, I had every intention of working on it for, you know, a couple hours and then washing dishes at 4.30 and then moving on with my life and moving on to a different book, but that is not how things have gone so far today. So I'm going to uh, get back to unplugging everything and refreshing everything and hoping for the best. And if not, I will move on to a book that I'm pretty sure is refreshed on my tablet and not on any of the others. But um, we will see, and hopefully I'll make progress in something soon, and I will see you guys when that progress is made. Alrighty, so internet has been super slow since I got it back, and any time that I need to switch books because I'm connected to the internet, Google Talks takes a lot longer to load. And any time that I need to stop to research something, no matter how small the research question is, it takes forever because it takes forever for the page to load. So um, I am trying and I'm doing my best with what I have today. So I'm going to run through uh, Feckenhauer. Grim Reaper is the other one that I wanted to finish at least before November, so I will be trying to write over 300 words in that one. And then I'm going to attempt to edit Ashes in the Light. Um, I might have to just disconnect my devices from the internet, it might be easier that way. But if that's the case, I'm not 100% sure if I can leave comments on the Google Docs. If I cannot, I will not be editing Ashes in the Light tonight. And if I can, I will be editing it. It totally depends. Um, and then I'll add a few words on Pittman's Legend, a few words on Calvin, and then cycle back to the painter. That is still the game plan, that is still what I'm going to attempt to do, and I will update you guys at some point um, once the page that I am currently waiting for to load, loads. <laughs>
Alrighty, it is 12.46 in the morning on Tuesday, September 18th. Um, I just finished a chapter of The Painter. I'm not 100% sure what chapter, but it is the chapter that I started working on yesterday morning before I switched over to Letters from a Madman. But I've written 649 words so far today, and that put that particular chapter just under 2,000 words in length. Um, it's been relatively slow so far, um, which truthfully 649 isn't bad for a little over half an hour of writing. It's just a little slower than I would like it to be. Um, but I have switched to my brace for this morning and I've been sitting on a heating pad to help with my neck and shoulders. Uh, sometimes sitting back in my mom's room at the desk is not the best idea for the day because it tends to kill my back, but you know, do what you gotta do. Um, but I'm going to take a very minor break here and then start on the next chapter of The Painter. Um, if I want to finish, or at least if I want to meet the 40,000 word goal um, by September 20th, which I think is what I have it set for, I would need to write 1,821 words per, per day, um, which is the plan. It is what I am going to aim for. and. That is what I am going to get to today before I switch over to Letters from a Madman and before I skim through those books and move on to whichever other one, Rasmussen, and then Hearts and Roses, and then I'll keep skimming through the ones that do not need to be finished right now, and then I will continue to hit the ones that do need to be finished a lot harder than the ones that I'm skimming through. So I'm going to take a quick break, um, probably ice my wrist. And then I'm going to set up the bungee chair so that way I can sit on this side of the couch and be a little more comfortable and hope that the tension loosens a little bit in my neck and shoulders. But either way, uh, I will see you guys again when I accomplish something more substantial <laughs> in the painter. Alright, so I went ahead and added um, another 569 words to the chapter that I thought I had finished yesterday, I think. Um, it just didn't feel done and it needed another scene and I didn't think it was worth putting that scene in a brand new chapter. Um, and honestly, I might still add another scene to this chapter before um, moving on to the next chapter. But I'm going to take a little break and then come back to Hearts and Roses. I am playing Uncharted for about 10 minutes at a time for each break that I'm taking. It just gets me standing up and keeps me from only focusing on one thing. And so far that seems to be working because I've been making pretty nice progress compared to what I've been doing recently. So I'm gonna do that and uh, then I will be back when I make progress with Hearts and Roses. It is 5.44 in the morning and I just finished working on Grim Reaper. I had to start a new chapter and I ended up 663 words into said chapter. Um, at this point, my next book to work on is Ashes in the Light and since I'll be going back to my room in 15 minutes, I don't see any point in starting that right now. I, I think that at the moment, I'm not going to worry about Ashes in the Light as much as I have been. It's stressing me out a lot more than I would like it to. So I think I'm going to edit a few chapters today, or at least one chapter, just to make me feel a little better about it. Um, and then I might add the next edit of It Starts With Goodbye to the plate, so that way I can start doing that. That is the one book that I definitely 100% want to have out before the end of this year. And at this rate, uh, if I wait until I finish editing Ashes in the Light, for the fourth edit, I just don't think that's going to happen. So I think that the wise decision 
is to definitely start editing it starts with goodbye whichever edit it is maybe number five I don't remember I think so yeah it should be um, is to start doing that today so I think that I will probably do that after I edit a little bit in ashes in the light so then edit a chapter or two in it starts with goodbye depending on how long of a time frame I want to give myself for edit five and then do a little bit in Pittman's Legend, a little bit in Calvin, and then circle back around to Painter. Um, because of how quickly I was able to work through things this morning, I actually only have to write in two more books today to run through every single one of them. So, if nothing else, I'm off to a good start for the day, unless I ruin everything once I wake up. But, that is the plan. I'm hoping that everything goes relatively well, and then I will see you guys at some point, presumably in the afternoon to evening, depending on how long it takes me to cut my dog's hair, and depending on what time I actually manage to wake up. Um, but I will see you guys when I accomplish something, probably in Ashes in the Light, and then I will see you once I do something in edit number five of It Starts With Goodbye. Hey guys, it is 421 in the morning on Wednesday, September 19th. Um, so far today has been a very slow morning. I have been sitting on a heating pad most of the morning so far and I haven't been switching between anything but strictly writing. And I think testing that theory is, uh, <laughs> is genuinely proof that having something else to do as an incentive, like when I've been playing Uncharted, actually makes me accomplish more than when I'm just sitting here. So, if nothing else, I have tested that theory now, and I think I've finally found something that works for me. Um, especially on the days where I'm just not having it. Because I think having Uncharted or anything really as an incentive is a nice push when I'm just having a hard time. But, so far today, um, let me put this count in and then I will let you know. So far today... Um, I have only worked on the painter, and I have written 664 words so far this morning. Um, so I'm currently back to slower paces than I would like to be. Um, when I first started writing this book, I had planned to have it finished by tomorrow, but things happened, and I don't think that that will happen, but we will see. Um, I actually think at this point they are closing in on the killer, but I don't know what else needs to happen before the actual killer is caught and before the ending chapters wrap up the book, followed by the epilogue for the next book, which I don't remember what the next book is and I do not know where my sticky note is um, with the voting counts for the next book, but I'll get there at some point. But yesterday I had planned on cutting my dog's hair, which I think I said that at some point, but it randomly started thundering and raining when I had planned to do that, and he does not like thunder, he doesn't like rain, and it drives him insane, so I knew that it would be a really bad time to do it. So hopefully, as long as there's not a, another surprise storm, which it's Iowa, so I never know if there's going to be a surprise storm, but if there is not, I'm going to cut his hair this morning. Uh, so the plan is to just be awake for a while and cut his hair before I take a shower and before I go to sleep. So I think I'm going to take a break here, take maybe like a 20 minute half hour nap, um, wake up and then jump back into writing, maybe turn on something on the PlayStation and see if that helps. Um, if not, I might dive into some very tentative research for a book or a series that I might um, eventually do. It's not something I've ever done before, so I'm not 100% sure if I will do it, but it is something that I've wanted to write for a while, so I think it's something that I might research and see where it leads. But uh, at the moment, it is very, very tentative research, and it's not anything solid. <laughs> but either way, uh, I think I'm going to start with a nap, and then hopefully things will go a little smoother after that. 
but either way I will let you guys know of any progress that I happen to make uh, within the next few hours after I wake up. So with another storm this morning, it pushed a few of my things uh, back, but I did manage to write a little bit more in the painter since I've woken up. Um, I'm going to have a snack and then I'm going to go ahead and finally get to cutting my dog's hair and then I'm going to run through a few of these, do the usual, and then I will update you guys eventually once I'm back and accomplish something. It is 12.49 in the morning on Thursday, September 20th, and I just broke 40,000 words on the painter and finished a chapter in the painter, so that's something. Um, but so far today I've written 960 words, which is something. <laughs> um, I am already tired just because there was that thunderstorm <laughs> this morning, which meant that I slept like hell in the brief period of time that I attempted to take another nap. Um, but, you know, I'm going to write as long as I can and then probably nap for a little bit and then go to sleep at my normal time so that way everything goes back to normal. Um, I think that I'm going to breeze through Letters from a Madman and Tito Vito, get some words in on Rasmussen and go from there and then circle back around to Painter once I run through the other ones. Um, I don't know how much time I'm going to dedicate to all of them, including Rasmussen and including Hearts and Roses and the other ones that I want to finish this month or next next month. I still think that Painter is the one that needs to be finished first because book six needs to be started before next month begins and it needs to be finished before November begins. So I think that finishing the Painter is top priority at the moment. The others technically can wait save for Hearts and Roses, which book two is presumably beginning in November if everything goes well. So um, I think I'm just going to breeze through all of them, um, maybe like do five minute sprints or something for each book and then play Uncharted in between because it's a nice break and hopefully that'll help wake my mind up if nothing else. Um, but that is the plan. There will probably be more thunderstorms today, so I'm not even bothering recording the dying light video that I need for Friday. I will wait and hope for the best. <laughs> um, but I, I think that's the plan. I think that's what's going to work best. So I'm going to open up Letters from a Madman, let it load, and get back to Uncharted for a little bit. And then come back, breeze through some books, and then I will see you guys once I get through all of that fun jazz. Alrighty, it's 1.17 and so far I've only written in Letters from a Madman and Tito Vito. Um, I got 288 words written in Letters from a Madman and I broke 22,000 words in Tito Vito by adding 412 words today. Um, unsurprisingly, I do not have internet, so I was downloading videos from this weekend's work in progress. Uh, that I was filming because I haven't edited that yet and I was going to do that But I lost internet unsurprisingly, so I cannot download the rest of those right now um, If I'm lucky internet will come back on its own within the next few hours But that's highly unlikely and the router and modem are in my mom's room So that usually just means I have to deal with it. 
So as long as I don't need to research anything, I'm okay. All of my documents are available offline, except for maybe the painter, but I think it is. And if it's not, I will just deal with it, go off of what I know and start a new document for new chapters if I work my way back around to it when I still don't have internet. But as long as I don't need to research anything, I'm fine. Um, which kind of sucks because I was hoping to be able to get to a little bit of research this morning uh, it, but before I went back to the painter, but we will see. Um, I'm going to move on to Rasmussen after another little break on Uncharted, uh, and then I'm going to continue to do some quick sprints throughout the rest of them, get some more writing done, and go from there. Um, I won't be able to do... well, I might be able to. Um, I should be able to do a little bit of editing in Ashes in the Light and a little bit of editing in It Starts With Goodbye so long as everything is updated on my phone as well if, um, if those documents are not available offline on my phone I will not be able to edit them and I will be skipping them until I have internet. So I will see you guys um, regardless depending on which way that goes but I will see you sooner, later, sometime with an update. So I have officially made it through all of my books for the day so far. Um, speed running appears to be a very great idea. It is raining again, it sounds like. It's not thundering at the moment, which is a plus, but um, it is raining. <laughs> so at the moment I do have internet. Um, because it's raining, I'm expecting that to go out again relatively soon. But I do have it at the moment, so I'm going to do some minor tentative research for that series or book or whatever that I may or may not eventually write. It's something I'm not sure of at all yet. Um, and then I'm going to take a little break with Uncharted, and then I'm going to get back to the painter and see if I can't make any more progress in that this morning. Alrighty. It is 4.37 in the morning. I just added 533 words for the painter, which brings my total count for the book so far to 40,675 words, and it brings my words written today for it to 1,493 words. So at this point, um, because I still currently have internet, I have successfully downloaded all of the videos that I need for the work in progress video that I filmed for over the weekend. So I am finally going to put that into KindMaster and edit it and export it. And then assuming I still have internet by the time that is done, I will start uploading it to YouTube and then I will get back to writing. More than likely, I will jump back into the painter. Again, that is the one that I want to finish um, before any of the others. So I'm going to do what I can this morning before I go to sleep on it. And then I will speed run through the others again sometime after I wake up and do some more editing, go from there, come back around to the painter. So. If things continue to be mildly successful, I'll have a good day. <laughs> um, but either way, I will update you guys sometime after the video presumably starts uploading and once I make more progress here in The Painter. Alrighty, so it's almost 5.30 and this video that's only about 8 or so minutes long, maybe 11 at the most, has been exporting for over half an hour and it's only to here which normally by this point it would be closer to being done at the length of this video. So I'm just going to cancel the export and um, attempt to do a little bit more writing for the next half hour or so, um, still with <laughs> dicking around on Uncharted, but um, I think getting anything done instead of just sitting here waiting for nothing to happen is a better option. There we go. So, yeah, it's eight minutes. So I'll export it uh, after I wake up, or at least attempt to, but I'm going to see if I can get any more writing done because I know that if I let that sit here, it would not be done in the next half hour and I'm not going to leave my tablet on overnight. So I'm gonna see if I can accomplish anything and then I will update you guys one more time before I go to sleep.
Alrighty. It is 1.10 in the morning on Friday, September 21st. Um, so far this morning, I have only written 1,066 words in the painter. I finished the chapter that I had been working on yesterday, and I started a new chapter. Um, I have not had internet most of yesterday evening, and I have not had internet yet this morning. So there were a few pe places in the painter that felt like it needed me to go online and look at something, but I couldn't. So I did what I could, wrote what I could. That's about all I can do at the moment. Um, I'm going to go ahead and speed through a few of my other books. Um, sprints, little tiny sprints go from there. Um, as far as I know, they are all updated on this tablet except for Ashes in the Light, I think, which is updated on my phone. Should be, I hope. Um, so that's the plan. I'm not going to do anything too advanced. I'm actually relatively tired, but I don't want to screw up my sleeping schedule by going to sleep right now. Um, so I'm going to do what I can, and depending on where things go, I might take a nap at some point uh, this morning and then get back into it. But either way, I will update you guys again when I have counts to update you with. Alrighty, it is 5.16 in the morning, and I just finished, um, not another chapter, but I just finished working on the painter. Um, I wrote another 1,406 words, which brings my total for that book this morning to 2,472 words. Um, at this point, I think I'm just going to chicken out and go to bed here in a few. I'm going to finish the cutscene that's playing up here. Um, and then brush my teeth and probably go to sleep. I do believe that I pulled a hamstring, not yesterday, but the day before, uh, slightly before I went to sleep. Um, it, I've pulled this particular hamstring multiple times um, in the last several years, and it gets a little easier to do every single time. So I've been in pain all of this morning and all of yesterday, but I have been handling it. Um, but I just think because of that, it's making staying out here just a little bit more difficult than it normally is. But I do feel like I accomplished a lot, especially without being able to do any of the research that I needed to do. Uh, sometimes that's just really simple. It's like the distance between here and here. Sometimes it's looking at a school calendar that I have online to determine if one of the kids has a volleyball game or a basketball game or anything like that um, on whatever date. Jamal's series takes place right now in 1969, so I always have a calendar up of the events that occurred that year, and I can't access that because it's online. So I just have to be very careful about what I'm writing and hope that nothing important interferes with it, and if it is, I'll just have to make note of it and write it in later. But um, even without the ability to do any of that, I feel like I made a lot of progress today, and that is something. <laughs> um, I think today, yeah, we might go shopping today. Um, I can either go with my mom or not go with my mom. Mostly depends on how my leg is feeling. Mostly depends on how much the internet sucks all day. But either way, uh, that'll also determine how much more I get done during the day and how much more I film during today. But regardless of what happens, I will see you guys at least one more time with progress from the rest of the day. Um, presumably I will see you more than once, but if I do go somewhere, I will probably see you one more time before the end of the day. But I'm gonna go to sleep, and then I will see you guys eventually. Okay, so it is 1.20 on Saturday, and I didn't actually manage to get any writing done while we were gone, but um, currently we have internet. 
So hopefully I will be able to get my last work in progress video uploaded. Hopefully I will be able to upload some of the videos from my iPad up to Google Photos so that way I can delete the videos off of here and free up space for more recording. But um, either way, <laughs> I'm hoping to make some more progress this weekend um, in between cleaning and a whole bunch of other stuff that we're supposed to be doing this weekend. But either way, um, that is all that I have for this video and this is the first time that I'm going to be doing an outro in quite a while. So <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, a like is always appreciated and if you'd like to stay updated on my writing, the gaming videos that I'm supposed to upload every Friday or anything that I do in between, feel free to subscribe. All the links to my author's pages as well as the links to my social media are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.